All right. Well, I've done all my ceiling fan acquisitions from uh, Fanimation, but uh, now here's one portable fan that I couldn't resist buying from Reese, as well as the can arm. The can arm, my industrial, I got. That's another video. And the other fan from Reese. Here is this uh, Hoover uh, table fan. And of course, I just found it so interesting. You know, maybe, maybe I just was a little excited the fact that we all know Hoover's for vacuums, which of course I'm gonna pull my camera up for a second and film over to it. My Hoover Constellation, which all of you know, there's the Hoover logo again. Like, that's a known Hoover. But uh, just to find interesting that Hoover made fans too. And of course, Reese kind of figured me out a while ago. He's figured it out when uh, he started to know that I also double up with vacuums a little bit. And even though I'm rather lower key about that than I am with fans, and as you can see, I got one back there, side note. But this is pretty cool. So I have it set to low. I used to do this when we were bringing portable fans into the museum. And I kind of wondered if this would be a cool addition if they wanted it, if they would allow it, but it may be something to put there. And he's like, yeah, Reese, when I told him I'd buy it, he's like, you just wanted it because it's also the name of a vacuum. And I'm like, yes, you said it. Ding, ding, ding. Well, here's low, and it's, it's a high current drawing fan, a lot of portables in this era. This is, I am not exactly sure. This has got to be mid-century somewhere, maybe early 60s. I should have asked Reese that, if he knows. But uh, 1.22 amps, I think the whole blade assembly is rattling. Rattles more on low, the current is dropping. Wonder if it's just because it's tilted upward. dropping down the more it's running so let's see how many watts 90 about 93 watts and less than three quarters of a power factor off high medium See what watts. 98 watts. Eh, not much higher, barely. Not much of a different power factor. Here's high. See what it watts, 118 watts. No difference of a power factor. All right, we'll do a spin down with it. All right. Just for grins, I'm gonna do the decade box just to see to see what kind of controls. I'm probably not gonna do well with it. It's either gonna be 
not enough can I already go over or maybe just be too high to use a ceiling fan control on it. But let's just do it for grins like I did in the museum. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Let's turn on the ten, eleven, twelve. I could probably oil the bearings a little bit, get some oil in there. Yeah, it's a bit rattly. So I'm at 12, 13. One at a low speed, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see what it does on high. What was the ceiling fan controls are not exactly good for this and this portables easily have a resonant frequency let's just for grins do the solid state extra noisy noisy if you use it less than high so yeah just a video for grins I know I did a zero to high before I think it was still going I'd like to just see that again oh yeah 2.02 is the inrush current so major inrush current with this and it's going to be a big drop 1.46 so yeah all right well that's all I have for this Hoover table fan so um, so yeah I'll be back with uh, more fans in my next round so stay tuned and keep subscribing and watching and I'll see you then